Welcome biologists. Today we are going to be looking at 6.3.2 taken from population sustainability for A-level biology A, OCR. We're looking at B, interactions between populations. And again, this is a very general knowledge, quite an easy lesson objective to get your head around really. We're looking at predator-prey interactions and interest-specific and inter-specific competition. Now we've looked at that before, we've mentioned it before, so it's nothing really drastically new. So inter-specific competition, this is between two different species. So here you can see um, a plant on the top of the, the water there, and that'll be blocking out the sunshine. So therefore the plants underneath cannot get the light. So that's inter-specific competition, competition uh, between light for different plants within the water. We also have another example here between the grey and the red squirrel, inter-specific competition, different species competing against each other. Now this one's for food resources, so the grey squirrel has done really, really well uh, and it's out-competed our native red squirrel, uh, which isn't the best, but hey-ho. So intra-specific competition, sorry, this is an example of where we have competition between members of the same species here. Now, the example that I've given here, this is the bower bird. There's a great video there to watch if you want to. And a bower bird will compete with other bower birds to win over the females. Uh, and in this case, it will do it via creating a very, really vibrant uh, bower in order to attract the female. Um, and you, you, I'm sure you can think of lots of intraspecific competition between members of the same species, members of the same species. Predation, um, this is a biotic factor we mentioned before, which can influence population size. Many predators have evolved ways to catch their prey, for example, speed and stealth, like in a cheetah. Uh, and likewise, their prey has avoided ways to get captured. So, for example, um, we get the, the white snow hair for camouflage. We have stings on things like a stingray and a scorpion, for example. And mimicry, there's a great uh, video if you want to search for that, the mimicry of, 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 a, of a mimic octopus. It's fantastic. It can, um, it's designed to, it's evolved to be, to be, its behaviour to mimic things like a snake, for example, and, and oh, fish, for example, it's quite interesting. Um, so this is an example of a predator-prey graph. Um, I, again, this I think this is really self-explanatory. So uh, as, for example, the hair population increases, which is the blue line, as the hair population increases in size, obviously you'll have more food for the lynx. So therefore, the, the lynx population will also increase because it's got more food to eat. But as the, the lynx population increases... Uh, the hare population will therefore begin to decrease because it's being eaten by the lynx um, and it's being predated on. Um, and because the hare population has de is decreasing, so the birth rate is is less than the, uh, than the death rate, because the population size is decreasing, the lynx has less food to eat, so therefore the lynx population will be decreasing, again, because the birth rate is, is less than the death rate um, and it, it fluctuates so predator prey interactions population graphs they, they fluctuate all to do with the the availability of the food for the, the predator and over predation by the, the predator as well or predation by the predator quite easy I think to understand and get your head around this don't forget to talk about birth rates and death rates which one is higher so obviously as the population uh, is rising the birth rate will be higher than the death rate but as the population is decreasing the death rate will be higher than the birth rate so that's about all you need to know about the interactions between populations to do with the predator prey relationships we've looked at inter-specific and intraspecific competition you just need to be able to identify that from a question and it could give you an example of any kind of uh, competition that you need to be able to identify as inter or intra specific competition. So, guys, good luck with your exams. Don't forget to use, do not use the words it, amount, they, or size. Use good scientific biological terminology that's going to get you more marks in your exams. And good luck.